So if you want to learn how to drive, Curtin, you first need to learn how a car works. No, I don't. So I'm just going to pop the hood up like this. Vicar, this is really not necessary. Just because I eat toast doesn't mean I need to know how a toaster works. Now that's the sort of arrogance that will get you killed on the motorway, mate. Right, so this is the coolant reservoir tank. Curtin, you listen? <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. Curtin can't stand learning anything new from anyone. Like, he's sort of got to figure it out himself first. Here is the oil. Right. And this is the dipstick. Yeah, I know you are, but what's that? <laughs> this one time, um, I was trying to show him how to get past level five on Theme Hospital, and he ended up throwing a muller corner at me, and it hit me right there. And I actually still have the scar there. Look, I don't know if you can see it. And um, ironically, the corner of the muller corner hit me right in the corner of my cornea. And I was standing in the corner of the room when it happened. I mean, spooky or what? This is going to be a brilliant day. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait to get my hands on that wheel. Ah, oh, good. Can I drive us to airfield? Uh, no, Curtin, you can drive when we get there. Right. I've, um... Just got to quickly pop round to June's. June's? Why? I can't stand that woman. I won't come in if that's OK. Well, I've just got to return a sprinkler, as I borrowed from her. Oh, OK, you just do it on the way back? Well, uh, no, because she's, she's quite insistent she needs it now. She's opening her garden to the public tomorrow. I beg your pardon? She's doing one of those open garden things. I beg your pardon? She's doing one of those open garden things, you know. Do you hear this? I already knew, but I didn't say anything because I knew you'd react like this. Oh, she's got some nerve, isn't she? Like, a garden know. is that good? Do you know what? That makes my blood absolutely boil. Why? Oh, it's just the sheer arrogance of it. It is arrogant in a way. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I disagree. I think it's a lovely thing to do. June has a lovely garden. Unbelievable. She's charging. She's charging? What's the money going towards? Her garden. Her garden, her garden. Uh, right, sprinkler, please, Curtin. Thanks. Thank you. Right, I'll be back in two seconds. I am absolutely... Uh, Look how much I'm shaking with rage, Care. I cannot believe she is charging the mission night. It's a fucking Eden project. Yeah. That's despicable. She is ghastly, that woman. Mm. Look at her. Do you know what? What? One of my earliest ever memories, right? Mm-hmm. Is I was at the open air pool and I was in the changing rooms and June was in there, right? And her towel dropped for like a second. I actually saw her pubes. And they were like, really long and wiry, and I remember thinking at the time they look exactly like the roots on a parsnip. So, welcome to Book Club, everyone, and a very warm welcome to a new face, Mandy Harris. It's so lovely to have new members. Welcome, Mandy. Um, so, The Jungle Book, how did everyone get on with it? Yes, Kaylee. I think identity plays a big part in this world, and the nature-nurture debate. Because I think Mowgli struggles with his sense of belonging in the two worlds. No. Uh, sorry, Kaylee, carry on. And, um, carry on. I think we see this when he gets frustrated that he can't do the things all the animals can do, mm. like smelling. That's wrong. Yes, it's great to have new members. It's important that the club is inclusive of everyone, no matter how experienced a reader you are. And each new member brings a unique and different perspective, which is always welcomed and creates good, healthy debate. I don't know about the rest of you. I think I would love to be friends with Baloo. 
He's that big brother you always wanted, isn't he? He's not the big brother I wanted. He's well, an idiot. Um, uh, next time, we'll be reading something a little spookier. Kerry, maybe you'd like to explain your choice. Uh, this is Goosebumps. Don't know if you're familiar with the Goosebumps books. And this is called Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. And let's just say, after you read this, you won't be taking piano lessons anytime soon. Why? Uh, well, I don't... Uh, you'll find out when you read it. Oh, uh, no, I... You tell me anyway, because I probably won't read it anyway. Well, you might read it. No, I ain't going to read it. OK. Uh, it's basically about a boy called Jerry who takes piano lessons and finds out his piano teacher is a robot. And then what happens? He uh, murders people, just chops off everyone's hands, that's the end. You would have read that, so if you hadn't ruined the ending, well done. Right. So, how do you think book club went? Um. Well, uh, I think I know why you're asking that question. Oh, uh, why would that be, do you think? Mandy... Yeah? <clears throat> has ...was like an atomic bomb blasting book club and all the books in it within a 40,000-mile radius. Kerry, I, I just think she was getting the hang of it. Oh, you she, think she was getting she the hang of it? Oh, the right, just rules. totally dominating the whole thing. Yes. Being rude to Kayleigh. I had to look after Kayleigh. Kayleigh was in tears afterwards. Oh, so I just thought I'd let you know that we both um, are now non-members of Book Club. No, wait a second, Kerry. No, we're Kerry. walking out. It's either her or us. Kerry, it doesn't need to be like that. I'm going to talk to Mandy, all right? What are you You've got to, say to give to me her? a chance. You need to say, I'll do what you have to say, Mandy... This behaviour is mental, yeah? You have to not come to book club anymore. In fact, you're no, banned. Kerry. You need to seek book. mental health and not come to book club. Kerry. That's what you need to say. Hold on one second, please. Can I speak? Book club is for everyone. Yeah. And that's he's the way not, it's going to nuts. remain. Yeah, signal in here. What? Yeah, signal in here. Why? Who are you calling it? Levi. Why? All right, Levi, you never guess where I am. Hospital, yeah. Basically smashed my head to fuck. No, I'm just waiting for an x-ray, but fuck knows what the doctor's going to be able to do. Yeah. It's going to be like gluing a breadstick back together, because, like, like as if a bre breadstick's been in a blender and it's all the, the pieces mashed up. Yeah. Yeah, spread the word, won't you, yeah? All right, cheers, mate. Cheers. All right, fries? you never guess who I am. Hospital, yeah? Yeah, I basically just smashed my head to fuck. Yeah, well, I was just waiting for an x-ray, but fuck knows what the doctors are going to be able to do about it. Yeah. Well, it's going to be like gluing back a breadstick after it's been in a blender, isn't it? Yeah. All right, you, you, will you spread the word for me, yeah? All right, cheers, mate. Yeah. See ya. Wait. The trouble with my lifestyle is I pick up a lot of injuries. But I use that to my advantage. Like, this one time I started a fight club in the village hall and I got a black eye from beating myself up. But it made my enemies think, fuck, if she can do that to herself, what the fuck can she do to me? It's an absolute nightmare. There's literally no parking spaces. I've been driving around for the last 20 minutes. I had to leave in a disabled parking bay. Um, have you, uh, have you been seen yet? No. Have they asked you any questions? Oh, chill out. I'm not going to rat you out for not having any insurance. Shh, 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 shh. Right, right, right. OK, I'm going to move the car back in a sec. 
His assholes like that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, big job. Yeah, you never guess where I am. Hospital. Are you heard? Yeah, I just absolutely smashed my head to oh, fuck. Fuck off. Well, I don't know. I think I've, I've, I'm absolutely one thousand percent sure I've broken it in two places, but we we'll just have to see what the X-ray results come back as. Yeah. Well, I was just saying, it's like, you know, gluing a breadstick back together after it's been in a blender. All right, you, you, will you spread the word for me, yeah? All right, cheers, mate. Wait. Oh God. What? The vicar. What about? He has lost his head. Why? You have to see this. He's having a go at traffic warden. Fuck me. He's having a breakdown. What? I knew this day would come. He has genuinely lost it. He has lost his mind. i tell you what that is. What? Horn rage. What's horn rage? If the bloke doesn't get rid of his dirty water on a regular basis, you get horn rage. Me and Kirk used to get it. We just smashed car wing mirrors on the way home on a, after a night on the last we hadn't pulled. It's worse for the vicar as well, because he's got massive nuts. The vicar, right? He'll have you believe he is all sweetness and light. But in reality, he can really lose his shit. Yeah, like this one time, he drove me and Curtin to Burford Wildlife Park, <laughs> and Curtin just looked in the vicar's ear and went, uh, wax cave. Yeah, and the vicar was so furious, he literally picked up a road atlas and whacked Curtin with it. And Curtin phoned the police. It was assault. Mm-hmm.